Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Crackin' What's Poppin'? It's Diva. Here, exit this video by Ren Free. It's titled Trump Goes on Joe Rogan. Kamala gets booed. Beyonce makes Trump jealous. And Michelle Obama is pissed. Okay, we're gonna get highlights from uh, this whole Kamala situation with Beyonce. Oh, and some other stuff is happening too. When did uh, Trump go on Joe Rogan? Anyway, let's see what's happening. Let's watch. We must vote. It's time to sing a new song. Joe Biden is asleep. Kamala is at a dance party with Beyonce. <laughs> Wait, what was the doing though? We are more than just baby making vessels. I know you may be almost as well as your wife. <laughs> People coming from space, you know. Yes. And I know you're interested. Oh, in very interesting. Is a border wall stupid? I I've made many mistakes. Hi. We are grabbing back the pen from those who are trying to write an American so story so that would deny the right for women to make our own decisions about our bodies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not here as a celebrity. I'm not here as a politician. I'm here as a mother. A mother who cares deeply about the world my children and all of our children live in. Your freedom is your God-given right, your human right. Everybody say Texas. We're part of something much bigger. We must vote. It's time to sing a new song. A song that began 248 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, next president. The United States. Bye. Bye. Have a great time. <laughs> Joe Biden what is asleep. Say Kamala. She was is it a dance party with Beyonce? Dance party with Beyonce. <laughs> dance party with Beyonce. Beyonce. Hey, I'm sure that was Ed and Jane, ain't no way. See you later. See you later. Or were they born because Beyonce didn't perform? Where's the tea? Bruh. You know what? You know what? Just send them to that small rally down the street. Oh. Not the small rally. Some people don't have a great sense of direction, but that's okay. We'll show them. spoke for a couple of minutes and then left and the place went crazy they booed the hell out of everybody they thought she was going to perform my opponent got up and started speaking they booed the hell out of her it's crazy well i, I can't trust what he'd be saying so y'all give me the tea <laughs> was there actual booze it seems like that first i thought it was edited in but maybe not because he's even addressing the booze so were there actual booze and if so why were they booing they were booing because beyonce didn't perform or is he just Run his mouth. Was they booing for some something else? And then people start leaving. And even Kamala addressed them leaving. Like, oh, y'all can go down the street to Trump little bullshit. <laughs> what is going on? This is ghetto. Her hairline was. We cool. are fighting for America's future. We understand the opportunity we have before us to turn the page on the fear. Oh, is she going to do this one? This is awkward. You know, I had no wars. Crooked Hillary Clinton said, look at him. He's going to take us into wars. I said, no, no. She said, but look <laughs> at that personality. I said, no, my personality is going to keep us out of wars. That's what we did. We had no wars. First president in 82 years. Other than... <laughs> You don't have to send your kids out to war. Have your kid blown up for a country that you've never heard of and that doesn't want anything to do with you anyway. I gotta ask oh. myself, well, why on earth is this race even close? Why? 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 
Yeah. It's clear to me that the question isn't whether Kamala is ready for this moment. The real question is, as a country, are we ready for this moment? She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now, come on now. There are folks who say they're not sure about Kamala. They accuse her of not providing enough policy detail. Some wonder, do we really know her? What do we find out one next month? What, what day? Uh, I need to know when to look at my curtains. <laughs> I feel like some shit about to go crazy. Uh, many specifics in terms of what she would do uh, as president. Well, but can someone tell me why we are once again holding Kamala to a higher standard than her opponent? I recognize that there are a, a lot of angry, disillusioned people out there upset with the slow pace of change. Talking to me? Because I'm a Lynn, who the hell are you talking? Talking to me? I get it. It is reasonable to be frustrated. We all know we have a lot more work to do in this country. No shit. But to anyone out there thinking about sitting out this election or voting for Donald Trump or a third party candidate in protest because you're fed up, let me warn you, your rage does not <laughs> exist in a vacuum. You have to be ashamed of yourself. I swear to God. To the women, make these choices clear to the men that we love. Our lives are worth more than their anger and disappointment. And we are more than just baby-making vessels. Yup, 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 yup. You are a woman who lives in a household of men that don't listen to you or value your opinion. Just remember that your vote is a private matter. Do me a favor. Do you know Elon Musk? Yes. He endorsed me. By the way, he gave me the nicest endorsement. Astronauts in this here. Take over, Elon. Yes, take over. As you can see, I'm I'm, I'm not just MAGA. I'm dark MAGA. <laughs> you should do the same thing, Joe, because you cannot be voting for Kamala. What? Why? Without speaking to you, I think I know you maybe almost as well as your wife. Mm. I have watched you for so many years. You're not a Kamala person. Okay. One of the things that There's I'm very interested in, right. in uh, the people coming from space, you know? Yes. And I know you're interested oh, in Oh, I'm very interested in that. Scientists in Mexico pulling back the curtain on what they believe are aliens. That, that's going to be terrifying. It should be terrifying. <laughs> what the f***? What the f*** was that? <laughs> How much did they tell you about that? A lot. <laughs> really? It's never been my thing, I have to be honest. I, I have never been a believer. I have people that Area 51 or whatever it is, mm -hmm. about, I think it's the number one tourist attraction in the whole country or something. There's no reason not to think that Mars and all these planets don't have life. Oh, really? Well, we, Mars, we've had probes there and well, rovers, yeah, and I don't think yeah. there's any life there. Well, maybe it's life that we don't know, but maybe Well, it's maybe there was life there at one point in time. Oh, okay. If you take a look at North Korea, I was there. I mean, I was with Kim Jong. I had a great rela. I got along great with him. I like how you called him Little Rocket Man. I said, <laughs> I said, Little Rocket Man, you're gonna burn in hell. It was a rough. Yeah. Oh, so rough that people were worried. This is crazy. I got to know him better than anybody. Anybody. And I said, Do you ever do anything else? Why don't you go take it easy and relax? Go to the beach, <laughs> the beautiful <laughs> beach, <laughs> nice beachfront property. You know, kiddingly. Are you breathing well? Are you eating well? Are you okay daily? And what time do you go to sleep at night? Because I'm here to help you. Okay. I want to talk about 2020 because you said over and over again that you were robbed in 2020. Yeah, totally. Yeah. How do you think you were robbed? Papers that you would not believe. So many different papers. That election was so crooked. It was the most crooked election. Oh, okay. I won by like, I lost by like, <laughs> I didn't lose, but they say I lost, <laughs> Joe, they say I lost by 22,000 votes. That's a lot. I love this idea of you teaming up with Robert Kennedy. Right. And I love this Make America Healthy Again yep. idea because there are chemicals and ingredients that are in our food that are illegal in other countries. Yeah, it's true. Ask about it. I think he's a great guy. I, I think love he's the great. fact that you guys teamed up. Yeah. Team, and are you guys, are you com completely committed to have him a part of your administration? Oh, yeah, but the only thing I want to be a little careful about with him is the environmental. Excuse me, can you record me real quick? Uh -huh. Can you record me real quick? Uh-uh, -uh, get some ideas to do it. I said, focus on health. You can do whatever you want, but uh, I got to be a little bit careful with uh, the liquid gold, you know? I understand. You don't with the 
money. You never work with the money. Look, I've done so many, they call it environmental impact study. To build a building in New York is very tough. Financing, unions, of all of it, to me, the toughest thing was the environmental. Mm. But there are legitimate concerns about environmental there impact, are, correct? Are. Like, look about the BP oil spill. There's a sure. lot of things that do yeah. happen that are environmentally devastating. Sure. And you want to mitigate that as much you as possible. Do. There's never one that could run on a treadmill, and I can do it. You know, when passing a physical, they ask me to run on a treadmill, and then they make it steeper and steeper. The doctor said, <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> I could have gone, I'm telling you, I felt I could have gone all day. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. You know, I had a, a very wonderful life, but I, I wanted to, to do this. The Apprentice yeah. was still going very strong. We had 12 seasons. They wanted to extend my contract. Mark Burnett is a great guy. Mark said, you're crazy. Don't run. Was thinking about doing it then, but I had a contract with The Apprentice. Plus, I was building two big buildings at the time, and I wanted to make sure they got finished up properly. Okay. Had a lot of success. Great economy, great everything. The military, we rebuilt it. Biggest tax cuts in history. Oh, okay. Pick some great people, you know. But I picked some people that I, I shouldn't have picked. Neocons? Yeah, neocons. Or bad people, or just loyal people. I always got more publicity than other people. Oh, really? And I didn't, it wasn't like I was trying. I don't know exactly why. Maybe you can tell me why. Oh, I could definitely tell you. You said a lot of wild shit. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he was saying that China has total respect for Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's very, very large brain. I would give myself an A+. Plus. <laughs> I'm a very stable genius. No, no, I'm not a racist. I am the least racist person you have ever interviewed. That I can tell. Full faith in our intelligence agencies. Whoops, they just turned off the light. That must be the intelligence agencies. I will shut down the government. Okay, absolutely. Okay. And I, I am disagree. proud, and I'll we tell you disagree. what, I am proud to shut down the government in helping with Florence. This is a tough hurricane, one of the wettest we've ever seen from the standpoint of water. That's such a racist question. <laughs> you know what I am? I'm a nationalist, okay? Thank you Good so evening, much. everyone. Good evening. Oh, okay. For weeks, you have been calling Donald Trump unstable, unhinged, dangerous, and fascist. Said that Trump repeatedly praised Hitler. Yeah. But there are tens of millions of Americans right now who don't buy it or are still going to vote for Donald Trump. He's arguably more popular now than ever. Oh, okay. Everybody loves me. You have 14 days to go. What do you say to those voters to convince them? Because some of them are in this room. I thank you all for taking the time to be here. You could be doing a number of other things with your time. It really is proof that we love our country and really want to talk about the issues. Much, much later. The people who know Donald Trump best, who served in his administration, all Republicans, by the way, have all called him unfit and dangerous. They have said he should never again serve as president of the United States. Said he would be a dictator on day one. You're going to be a dictator for one day. I don't want peace. I want problems, always. We're going to do one, two things. The border, we're going to make it so tight you can't get in unless you come in legally. And the other is energy. We're going to drill, baby, drill. After that, I'm not going to be a dictator. You quoted General Milley calling Donald Trump a, a fascist. You yourself have not used that word to describe him. Do you think Donald Trump is a fascist? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Over 400 members of the administration from Ronald Reagan to both Presidents Bush to Donald Trump have endorsed my candidacy. I am the chosen one. The reason why is a legitimate fear that he will not obey an oath. He himself has said he would terminate the Constitution of the United States. As president, what would you do to ensure not another <laughs> dies due to bombs being funded by U.S. tax dollars? I do believe we have an opportunity to end this war and work toward a two-state solution. For many people who care about this issue, they also care about bringing down the price of groceries. Under Donald Trump, you criticized the wall more than 50 times. You called it stupid, useless, and a medieval vanity project. Is a border wall stupid? So remember, Donald Trump said Mexico would pay for it? Come on, they didn't. No. No. How much of that wall did he build? I think the last number I saw was about 2%. And then when it came for time for him to do a photo op, you know where he did it? In the part of the wall that President Obama built. To fix the problem, you're doing this compromise bill of $650 million that was earmarked under Trump to actually still go to build the wall. I am not afraid of good ideas where they occurred. Oh, really? You know, so you don't think it's stupid anymore? I think what he did and how he did it did, was, did not make much sense because he actually didn't do much of anything. But you do want to build some wall. I want to strengthen our border. 
Madam Vice President, what weaknesses do you bring to the table and how do you plan to overcome them while you're in office? That's a great question, Joe. Um, well, I am certainly not perfect, <laughs> so let's start there. I'll allow it. Perhaps a weakness, some would say, but I actually think it's a strength, is I really do value having a... T oh, she about to pull the, the whole interviewer question. I mean, answer. <laughs> The interview answer. And then, what's your, what's your weakness? Oh, my weakness is I care too much about people. <laughs> I'm too much of a team player. <laughs> and I, I neglect myself. Team of very smart people around me. Go Hannah, go Hannah, go Hannah, go Hannah. So I may not be quick to have the answer as soon as you ask it about a specific policy issue sometimes because I'm going to want to research it. I'm going to want to study it. I'm kind of a nerd sometimes. I don't think I've ever heard the former president admit a mistake. I would give myself an A+. Plus. I'm a very stable genius. Is there something you can point to in your life, political life or in your life in the last four years, that you think is a mistake that you have learned from? I mean, I've, I, I've made many mistakes. Don't, if you've ever parented a child, you know you make lots of mistakes. It's a mistake not to be well-versed on an issue if you're compelled to answer a question. So I'm encouraging everybody to get out and vote, please. Interesante. Um, yes, y'all do what, what y'all think is best for y'all. That's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, but yes, yeah, very interesting stuff. Definitely didn't know that Trump sat down with Joe recently. I, I might have to check that out. It seems like it was a key. That man cracks me up. I will say that. Anyway, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!